Koyari Netball Association has raised a concern regarding national representation. Most of the Koyari girls are in the uh, uh, selection, but only not put them all out. That's why in lot of meeting, we go to meet for us fight one time all. Or councillors, the house law, president. Yearly affiliation fees for over 15 years have totaled to over 20,000 kina for this rural association. Development of the code seems unattainable due to the lack of funding. Despite these challenges, President Yori still wishes to see one of her athletes make the national team. When we raise this concern to Netball PNG, Vice President Yamo Launa's response threw the responsibility back to the affiliated associations. It's the way the associations are developing uh, and focusing on players and the way they manage their respective associations to make sure that they uh, develop uh, their athletes to a certain standard to meet the selection criteria. And I think that every province should do that. Every association sh should do that. Launa said that as a way forward, Netball PNG has prioritized capacity building, especially for technical officials. This means increasing the number of trainers and umpires and creating necessary modules or adaptation of up-to-date international standards and regulations. Local communities will have qualified coaches and umpires to run their tournament. In that way, they will raise their standards. But it falls back to financing and Netball PNG finding the means to support associations. Right now, we are uh, negotiating with Australians, asking for assistance from them them to fund the technical capacity building component and uh, development of capacity. With Koyari Netball being an active association for the last 18 years, it would surely tick all criteria as set out by Netball PNG for development purposes. We will be mostly looking at the active associations and where we, we will prioritize where we think there's a need.